Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> uh, this is going to be short and sweet. I had an epiphany. I am almost positive that there are people out there in the resin sphere who have done this before. I have not looked it up to see how they did it or if it worked or I just kind of flew by the seat of my pants to try it. So I went online uh, and found some of these Christmas balls. Now I know that people, resin artists, have used these to make um, like uh, liquid centers to things, especially skulls. Yes, we're going to be using a skull. So I found these, and then I found these. <laughs> I was hoping they had them, although these are much bigger than I expected them to be. These are... I'm gonna make a magic eight skull <laughs> I'm gonna make a magic eight skull so um, the problem is is that these and these do not match so I had to cut a very large hole into it I've already done this y'all didn't want to see it you know how to cut into plastic it was a pain in the ass but I got it done um, so I still have a few more things to do to prep for this. So I already pushed the die in there and um, sanded this down some. I've got my plastic sheeting. Um, so I'm going to trace this and cut me out a circle. I'm going to then UV resin it closed after I put in the liquid. And the liquid... Um, I'm going to use some water and, well, alcohol ink, like, I was thinking about trying, um, mica powder in there. I think that would look kind of cool, but I'm worried about it being too dark so that when, you know, this comes up to the side, you won't be able to read it, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it looks. Um, I might check that before sealing it up, you know? We'll see how that works. For the skull, I'm going to place um, like a round sticker in here. I've got some round stickers that I can place in there. And then I want to dust it with black Let's Resin Holographic Glitter. Um, and then once I remove that sticker, hopefully the black glitter will be stuck everywhere except for where that sticker was because I want that to be the empty spot so I can read my fortune. And then once that's done, I'm going to pour in clear resin um, and place this inside. It does fit. It fits nicely. It does touch the sides a little bit, but I'm not particularly worried about that because I'll have the black resin, right? And... It fits in there nicely so it doesn't come up all the way to the top. So this part will be covered. Um, hopefully. I doubt that you would be turning it over to look at it anyway from the bottom. But if I find after demolding, because I'm filming this Monday night, it's been a ride. If you've been on my channel this past week, you will have heard all about it. Um... If I find after demolding that I don't like the fact that it is clear, I can always just add an extra a layer of black onto the bottom after demolding. So, that's the plan. I'm hoping this will be quick and easy. This was not the big project that I was working on, by the way. This idea came to me out of the blue, and I immediately ordered the things and decided to do the things. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get this prepared, like I said, and then we will dust, pour, all the things. Keep watching. I'm going to put on some music and make it lovely. All right, let's do the damn thing.
It's bonus unmolding time. Yeah. Bonus unmolding time. I'm working on some moon orders from work still. I have this black holographic glitter. It's so pretty. Um, so for this order, I was requested to do one large, one small. I had enough for three. So I guess the third one will be mine. It's still a little soft. I just poured these last night and I'm getting ready to go to work. So we'll let these rest, um, let these rest and finish curing. How pretty is that? Mm, I love it. Okay. And I'm not seeing any huge bubbles, which is great. These have tiny ones in them. Oh, so pretty. All right, here's the little one. A little bit of cleanup. All right. So pretty. Wow. Look at all those colors. All right. That is today's bonus unmolding. All right, friends. <laughs> uh, I have some major concerns. Number one, although the ball was very heavy when I put it in there, it did still float in the resin. So I put this here to try and, you know, hold it down some. So I will have to back this up um, after today's video. Um... The other thing is it wasn't completely submerged, and I think that's because when I put it in originally, I put it in with the bottom up where I made the hole for the die. Uh, but the problem is, is that there was, let me get another one. There's the giant dimple on the bottom, and that would have ruined the effect, so I wanted to put it on its side. So I think that's why it didn't... Um, it wasn't completely submerged. Um, my other major concern was that the heat would warp the um, the ornament and then it would just not look good. Um, and then also bubbles. I'm very worried about bubbles. But this was an experiment. This is a matte mold, by the way, so it's not going to look very good. Or good at all. <laughs> um, okay. Sure. I want to try something real quick. Grab a glove. The glitter didn't stick well to it. Um, but... That's okay. Um, I just didn't want to use my larger mold for this. Not sure why. That, I was definitely worried that the heat would warp it. I just want to rub some UV resin on it and see if we can get a clearer view. Okay, so let's cure this. And we can see how that looks. All right, so that worked. That cleared it up. Um, the 
uh, plates of the skull separation. The, those lines do kind of mess it up a little bit. So I think if I try, I will try this again. Um, but I think next time I definitely want to try the larger skull and I'm going to pour it kind of in layers next time. So that way, number one, it won't float up, hopefully. Uh, but number two, it's not going to superheat. Okay, so let's ask it a question. Will my channel ever be as big as Mr. Beast? What's that say? I can't read it. I don't know. <laughs> well, what good are you, Skull? Magic 8 Skull. That's pretty cool on the back, though. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool on the back. It's obviously got that cat-shaped divot. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to uh, fill that up eventually. We'll see. But I like, I like the idea. I'm glad that I decided to try it. Although, now I'm totally seeing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm totally seeing the marker. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, whatever. It is what it is, I suppose. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, that's today's video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Also, if you are new, stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care.